Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Home Brew. I came across another brew dog thing the other day and I thought I'll make it. It's Native Sun IPA and it's a West Coast IPA, whatever that means. This is it. So yeah, I was going through the old bargain bin at the local um, bottle over here and uh, there was one and it was really nice. So I raced back the next day because there's only two more. I'll take my money. There's the beer. Very good. Had to make sure I got those before... Uh, somebody else snaffle them. So the, the the last precious two in the world, possibly. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, I like the first one enough to make it. So, as we know, BrewDog like to share their recipes. And this is the one for Native Sun. So it's got all the grains and stuff. And um, I'll go through and convert that from 20 litres up to 27. And, yeah, here's the grains. So for this one, I've got... Um, it is... Oh, that's weird. My numbers are thrown out. It's telling me it's 89% ale malt and 2.5% medium crystal. <laughs> uh, I think that's because there's dextrose in there as well that's taking up 8.2%. So I'm guessing it's about 90, like with the grains, 97% ale and 3% crystal. But anyway, we're going to um, leave that for an hour, are we? Uh, yeah, of course we are. And it's mashing at 65. Now, check for chick chickens. Oh, there's a chicken. That hardly ever happens. What do you do with the chicken? Uh, I don't really know. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Well, I guess uh, I'll just shoo him <laughs> back into the neighbor's house where he came from. I've uh, got some got a little helper there, so back you go, chicken. And, well, that was my excitement for the morning. Okay, now the mash is done. Oh, is it? No, this is, um, this is sort of halfway through the mash. I'm just giving it an extra whisk to... Uh, uh, make sure I get the best efficiency that I can. All right, what are we doing? Oh, okay, the thingy comes out now. So this is the end of the mash. Out comes the grain bag, and I'm going to hoist that up with my pulley and not drop it back in like I did that one time. And then um, back on that thing, and that bag clip stops the from, kind of holds it in place, which is good. Heat goes on. Now, I'm doing a big sparge today with, like, a bit more water than usual because I've got more grains than usual. Uh, I've got like 7.3 kilos of grains. Normally I use 5.6 to get um, an og of around 45. But anyway, it started raining and look at that. Looks like it's not going to stop for a while. That's the weather radar. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I put that in the video. All right, now I'm converting my hops across. So what I do is I start from the start from the. I work backwards from the um, late editions. So there is uh, one gram a liter right at flame out of Chinook Centennial and Simcoe and then there's uh, a bit less no that's not right I'm lying there's one gram per litre five minutes after flame out and this has been converted to no chill of Centennial and Simcoe and then there's one gram a litre of Chinook at the 15 minute mark and then I do the business I'm aiming for 1.0 no 70 <laughs> aiming for 70 IBUs so I then calculate how many bittering hops I need from that Bittering hops are Simcoe and Columbus in roughly equal parts, but not quite. Check out the brew dog recipe if you want to see it. So what's this? 15 minutes to go. That was my uh, well flock, and that must have been the Chinook. Then zero minutes to go in the boil. I turn the flame out, and this is usually when I start sanitizing gear, so that's all done. Now, five minutes afterwards, in goes the... Um, must be Centennial and Simcoe. All right, so that's about... All done there. Now, yes, dextrose. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, there's dextrose in this. Turns out to be 650 grams, which is quite a lot. And I've never added dextrose to an all grain before, so I didn't really know when to do it. So I decided to do it right at the end after Whirlpool. And then I decided to stir it. And then I realized I've m m messed up all my old, all the Whirlpool. So I'll give another Whirlpool. So it's just going to take a bit longer. So what do you do? You just play with the dog, I guess, for 10 minutes. And there's Max. Whoops, not so graceful this time. Usually a pretty graceful dog, but oh well, he's, he's, he's not silly anyway, so yep, that passes the time. Check out a little, no, not that sample, that sample contain. The reason I throw out the first sample is that uh, there's often a little bit of, like, just water in the tap that doesn't really get any proper beer in it, so uh, the first sample is a lie. Anyway, tipping it all in, ended up with an OG of 1.07, which is what I was aiming for, and it is going to be a mighty thing. Squeezing out what actually is hardly any air so this is a very big batch and we're all done so this is the native sun and um oh it gets it's going to be dry hopped with uh 
almost everything. Um, hang on, where is it? It's Citrus Simcoe Centennial Mosaic at almost, I'm going to do it 8 grams a litre, they do it at 10. Um, and I'm just using some USO5. You're supposed to use American Ale, Y yeast, but I'm just using some USO5 that I had on the go anyway. So that's all good. I'll dry hop it after a week of fermentation, fermenting at 19. And done! Done! There's the thumbs, there's the kids, and the dog, and the fire. Everybody's happy! Thanks for watching this. Thanks again, BrewDog, for sharing all these recipes. And it's just great, isn't it? Uh, all right. Well, thanks. See you next time. Bye.